What is up, people of YouTube? Today, uh, I'm bringing you guys a still image review of the Mofi Juice Pack Air uh, by Mofi, obviously. And uh, so this is the second installment of my uh, still image review series, and I hope you guys give me some constructive criticism in the comments below. Uh, I really uh, do appreciate any kind of uh, compliments or helpful hints or something of the nature to make to improve my videos uh, and to make them better more enjoyable for you guys. So uh, today, as I said, we're reviewing the Mofi Juice Pack Air, uh, and it's for the iPhone 4. Someone reviewed this on the Top Below Reviews channel a couple days ago, and so uh, I'm going to review the iPhone 4 version because he reviewed it for the iPhone 3G. And uh, yeah, so let's just get right into it, guys, and I'll see you after the intro. So now that we've got that out of the way, we can just jump right into the case itself. As you guys can see right now, I'm just showing some still images of the case. Uh, it's a pretty cool case. It's very bulky, very uh, robust, but it protects your phone well, and it does something that no other case, I, well, that no other uh, popular case I know it does. Uh, it, it actually charges your phone while you're using it, which is very, very cool. And uh, it adds about, I think, uh, if, it's, if it's completely dead, it adds to it adds like 75% uh, battery from uh, no charge at all. So let's say you went out to do whatever and uh, you use your phone a lot uh, when you're gone and uh, you used up all the battery. So what do you do? You can't do anything. You're stuck with no phone and you're probably going to have to use a pay phone to get back home or something. I don't know what you guys do. But uh, what you can do is just flip a little switch on the side. I'll show you that in a second. I want to get into the ports and stuff, and it'll charge your phone up all the way up to back to 75%. It is very cool, and uh, yeah. So moving right on into the ports, uh, I'm just going to show you guys uh, the little charger thing that plugs into your computer. Uh, right on the side there, it is a mini, a micro USB, sorry. And it, uh, the other side of it is a uh, regular USB, so you can plug it right into your computer. That is a sync charger that works with any Mac or PC, but I I've noticed that the sync is not working with my iTunes because it says the disk is uh, missing or something like that, and uh, it just doesn't work. So moving right on into the... Uh, like the bottom of it, uh, you guys can see that it has uh, four lights, I think. Four or five lights, I'm not even sure. I'm not really looking at it right now. I'm just going off the top of my head. And there's like a button. If you press that button, it'll uh, actually tell you how much battery it has left in the case. But unfortunately in mine, that broke, and it's been very buggy for the past couple days. It's not completely broken, but it just sometimes decides to work, sometimes it doesn't. The lights aren't out. I've checked those. Uh, I actually went inside the case, and uh, the LEDs are fine. But uh, everything else, I just don't know why. It's not like, connecting to the case, motherboard, or something like that. I'm not really an electronics guy. I like an like electrician or something. I don't really know what's wrong with it, but whatever. It's definitely a problem, and I definitely need to fix that. So this is the switch I was talking about earlier, guys. Uh, if you notice right here, it is on the uh, it is on the off setting, I believe, and uh, that off it's like it has a little red uh, sticker in there. That you, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see. My camera is not too great, but it's still okay. But I don't know if it can pick it up or not. But it is on the off mode uh, right now. I'm switching the slide to on mode, and you guys can see the little green sticker said before that controls whether your case is on or off and it's a very handy switch and it's actually pretty cool to uh, flip back and forth and it's a pretty nice switch and I know that sounds kind of weird but I just enjoy flipping it back and forth and that is not uh, a sexual Indian endu innuendo whatsoever I don't know I don't know why anyone would think it is but whatever <laughs> so moving on uh, to the side of the device you can see that it has perfect cutouts for the buttons in lock switch they're pretty hard to get to you're gonna have to use the tips of your fingers but I've had no problem with doing that because uh, uh, being the case that it charges it it's a, it's a fair trade-off uh, for the buttons not to be uh, too great it's kind of expected with this kind of case 
Moving on to the top of the device, uh, I said device twice, whatever, <laughs> twice, twice, that rhymes, oh boy, and uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, moving on to the top of the device, uh, you can see that the uh, lock switch and the, uh, or sorry, the sleep-wake switch, people get really uh, weird about that, I don't know why, people get really mad at me for calling it a lock switch, but anyway, moving on to the uh, lock switch and the uh, headphone jack they're cut out pretty nicely as i said you need to use your fingertips to get into the lock switch and it is kind of annoying so moving on to the side of the, the other side of the device uh without the buttons you can see that it has a little uh bezel just like the iphone uh just a regular strip does it looks pretty nice and uh i think it looks pretty cool it's uh it's very nice and uh i said very nice like twice but whatever wow this is just a terrible review <laughs> not really though okay sorry okay moving on Stay focused. Alright, so bottom of the device, you guys can see right there, it has some uh, two little cutouts, which is very interesting. Uh, but like below the cutouts, it has a Mophie uh, imprint. Sorry, I didn't get that out of the way. But uh, those two little uh, circles that you see at the bottom of the device, or the bottom of the case, those are actually speakers. So when you plug in your case, it'll uh, amplify uh, your music from your iPhone and uh, it'll play it through those speakers and it'll make the sound quality even better which is definitely useful because the iPhone speakers are just terrible they're just garbage and this actually improves it quite a bit and I really like that feature a lot although it does add some length to the phone uh, it's, a, it's still a fair trade-off because it's pretty awesome so showing you guys the back of the device you guys can see it is a rounded thing it actually feels like a 3GS when you hold it I've actually had people sit, to, uh, like, not think it was an iPhone 4. People like, oh, nice 3 GS. I don't know why people are like that, but just I just completely made that up. <laughs> but it kind of does look like a 3 GS anyway. Uh, and then, as you guys can see right now, I'm just showing you guys the camera cutout, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's very fairly large, and your camera isn't. You're not gonna have any problems with scratching your camera lenses or anything like that. So right here, I'm just gonna show you guys a. Uh, how you take off the case, you just slide off the top uh, like the images show and you can just slide right open your uh, phone and you can get to your phone. So right here I'm just showing you a still image of the phone, showing you that it does charge your phone indeed and uh, it's pretty cool. And uh, so my final thoughts on this case is I could definitely recommend it to the uh, casual user because it is pretty awesome. Adds a ton of battery life to your phone. Uh, not 100%, about 75% of battery life, as I said, about four times. But it is still pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. So sorry if I wasn't that funny in this video. I have a pretty dry sense of humor, so I apologize if I'm not funny in the least bit. But, whatever, guys. Uh, if you like this kind of video, make sure you go check out my channel, uh, youtube.com slash Great. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash reviews. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, and, uh, bye-bye.